Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon, and this is day four um, of the 31 day tarot challenge. So number four is, what would be your favorite tarot deck if you had to pick? Three favorites for those who have a tarot deck addiction, and I certainly do. <laughs> As you um, saw in my last video, my collection. So, <clears throat> Um, typically I would have chosen to go with my original right away as my number one because he was the one that I began working with from the very beginning, but I have since started to branch out. So I'm not going to include him in my top three. So my top three are right here and I'll start with the oldest. Um, this is the psychic tarot for the heart. This is my go-to deck for my love readings. Um, I always reach out for this deck, especially because just the energies that this deck gives off, it's so much, just so much love comes out of this card, these cards. Self-love, um, reflection for, for readings about relationships, breakups, anything that has to do with a bond between another person and between two people, more than one person, or just yourself when it's a self-love reading. So this is my go-to, and I recently um, deck modded it, so I actually did the edges black, which is I'm very happy with the way they came out, and I think it just gives this, this deck a whole different feel. Um, so this is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Now the only thing about this deck that I would have to say is it does not follow... One, it doesn't follow the, the typical Rider weight. Um, and then it also, it's a blend of tarot and um, oracle. And I would say more so this deck is more oracle than tarot because it doesn't include the court cards. But then again, that was another reason why I love this deck so much because it didn't include the court cards. So it has um, its plus and minuses. But overall, this is, even if I do consider it an oracle, um, I just, I love it. It is my go-to for love readings. So this is the psychic tarot for the heart. And as you can see, it has the number and then it says, you know, the, the word at the bottom, it, that's what gives it the Oracle feel. Um, this deck is basically the majors are black bordered. The ones that are blue bordered are supposed to be like the cups. Um, so it's very different. I personally do not read this the way a tarot deck would be read. Um, I don't pay attention to the suits. I literally just pay attention to intuition from the images and what the phrases on the bottom mean. So, but I still consider it a tarot deck because um, that is what the artist had intended it to be. Um, even though I don't see much, <laughs> I don't see this as a tarot deck at all. But this would be one of my favorites especially for my love readings, so it's a, it's a must. Next would be um, my, this deck is the Morgan Greer Tarot, which I actually purchased maybe a month, two months ago. Um, it follows the Rider Waite themed, but it is so much more prettier. So here are the backs, um, blue with, you know, the white stars, and then it's a borderless deck. So the pictures pop a lot in this deck and that is probably one of my most favorite it's colorful and it's just so pretty now the only thing about this deck is it came in Italian I don't care <laughs> I don't care that it did see as you can see it says um, Il Mato um, that's for the fool um, that doesn't bother me because I know what the cards are without having to um, read the description so the fact that it's in a different language does not bother me at all. These cards are just, they're just gorgeous. I, I, I very rarely, um, I'm very rarely picky about borders and all that. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but I can totally see why people love borderless decks. This is probably one of the first decks I've owned in tarot, um, that don't have borders. So I think these cards are just so pretty. Um, and as you can see, the images just pop. <laughs> and the fact that it follows Rider Waite, which is what I originally learned, um, it just makes it so much easier to, you know, to read the cards. You don't have to kind of, you don't have to study so much the deck because you already know the meanings since you've already learned, you know, the, the Rider Waite stuff. That's the fool. 
So yeah, this is um, the Morgan Greer Tarot. And those of you guys who've been following my, my uh, YouTube channel and stuff, you've seen me use this deck a lot. <laughs> Ever since I purchased him, I have been using him a lot. Now, this last deck is my most recent um, tarot deck. And this is going to be the Nefertari's Tarot. And this deck does not follow the Rider Waite. Um, which actually I love because it really tests my um, intuition. So these are the backs of the cards. And as you can see, it's Egyptian theme. Very gorgeous. And then the cards themselves have a golden sheen to them in the background, um, which adds to that gorgeous um, Egyptian vibe. And as you can see, um, these cards do not follow the Rider Waite theme. So it's been, for me, uh, I've been studying them, um, working with them randomly here and there. I carry them in my bag every day. And I've been doing that because I really feel really connected to them, even though I haven't used them so much. Um, and I also did a deck mod with these cards too, doing the black um, edges and it just oh it just made this deck look even more gorgeous <laughs> so um, this is the Nefertari's tarot and it was probably one of my most favorite purchases that I've made with the cards so this is definitely one of my most favorite decks and you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of this deck um, because when I did the interview the deck interview um, I like to pull a few cards to see what this deck has to tell me. Um, I just got the vibe that this deck was saying, use me with other decks. <laughs> so use me with Oracle, use me with this and that. Um, so definitely going to be doing that. So you'll be seeing so much more of this deck next year or, you know, in a couple days starting. That's crazy. 2016 is going to be in a couple more days. I'm so excited for the new year. So yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, saw a couple new decks. And if not, you know, I have a lot more in the collection, which you have seen in the other video. But if anyone has any questions about the decks that I own or these cards, leave me a comment and I'd be happy to answer your questions. So until then, you guys, I will see you tomorrow when we do day number five. Bye, guys.